my grandfather he was a soccer player but now whenever i think of him what comes to my mind is a shaky man walking slowly with a stick slow enough for a seven year old like me who holding his grandpa's hand had to follow his slow walking pace in their evening stroll young and naive me kept pulling him by his hands and yelled at him grandpa walk faster a sad smile would cross his face slowly it's only much later i realized that he was at an early stage of parkinson's so walking does speak it speaks about your health hi my name is shumit majumdar and i am working towards a cost effective early diagnostic tool by exploiting an everyday activity like walking you see our body is a delicate machine much like a car each part has a specific function but all parts must work in sync to make your ride safe and comfortable likewise our brain muscles and bones they all work together to sustain a healthy and balanced walk some damage to these organs may disrupt this incredible act of coordination and thereby affecting our natural walking pattern as you may have seen for example in parkinson's patients who tend to walk with short and shuffled steps however these changes in walking pattern develop gradually and are not often noticeable until the disease reaches to an advanced stage but thanks to modern sensor technologies we can track these early subtle changes in walking using miniature motion sensors that in fact we all carry in our phones nowadays but what's the point if we cannot retrieve any useful medical information from these data and that's where my research comes in i extract some signatures from the data that are consistently and distinctively different in parkinson's patients for example and use that data to predict the disease in people i strongly believe this simple and low cost tool will be immensely useful in early diagnosing brain and nerve related disorders like alzheimer's parkinson's which will not only reduce the overall treatment cost in the long run but also allow our people like my grandpa to age healthy and happy not in any healthcare center but at home among their loved ones thank you, thank you.